Hey guys, Farmer Bob here, man. Welcome back to my channel. Great to be back with another video. <laughs> Today, just a short one, a quick one. Um, I have a question from a friend that was uh, wanting to know how to make um, slopes. Now, there's a few ways to make slopes, and if you look at my um, my um, how uh, not in how to, but my uh, map making series. If you have a look at that, um, I've explained in detail there how to make mountains and slopes and all kinds of things. But um, if you are just looking for a quick answer, I can show you three easy, quick ways how to make slopes in Giants Editor. Um, obviously, yeah, that's my own um, ways that I use, and, and uh, maybe one of them suits you, you know. <laughs> but before we get stuck into that, a uh, warm welcome to you. If this is your first time on my channel, do remember to uh, pause the video now and just hit subscribe. It does help me. And if you like my content, yeah, why not give it a like as well? And remember the little bell uh, that helps you notify uh, of new content, you know. So wonderful, man. Great, guys. So let's have a quick look. I'm here on my 4x uh, flat map. Um, you can download this 4x flat map from my website on uh, in the video description. You'll find my website. You'll find um, uh, my Patreon for support. If you're willing or wanting to support me, you are more than welcome. I do appreciate that, obviously. And then now, let's first have a look. Um, come to mind the first thing that we want to have a look at uh, is obviously the slope tool there's a nice slope tool in giants editor that you can use to make a slope with and i'll quickly show you the first thing you want to have you have two points on a slope you have the bottom of the hill and you have the top of the hill and you want to slope slope from the bottom to the top or from the top to the bottom doesn't really matter all right, so what we want to do is on my flat map just create a quick mountain for us so i'm going to um just have a look at this here where's my thingamabob doesn't want to give me my little split thing so i can bring it up make sure your your three opacity and uh, um or the buttons or whatever you want to call this three options is at max at one they must be at one and then what you want to do is select a height here i'm going to go control r first to get my height of the map so my ground level on this flat map is 50. now that's in meters so it's 50 meters above zero um, now how your map works it's got um it's got um negative 250 and positive 250 and zero is the in between all right so i've lifted my terrain 50 meters um above above uh, terrain or above zero so that's basically your terrain if you look at your terrain here by terrain you'll see 255 is the height scale so that's the roof of your map it's 255 so i've got 200 meters to make um mountains and stuff so that's basically how it works all right so f enough jaw flapping i'm gonna make um, a mountain of 50 meters so i want it to be a hundred and then i'm just gonna make my uh, tool a bit bigger like that and then I'm going to put my right mouse button on replace and I'm going to just create a, a 50 meter high um, mountain here just for us for the example so that if you don't know how to create mountains that's a good idea for you there to to see <laughs> and for some reason I don't know with this Giants Editor 10 when you select your terrain tool my word it takes like five seconds to uh, respond you know to come back to the normal mode all right so now we have a mountain and we want to slope from the bottom up to this mountain all right so first this is the first option you have is on your on your um i'm going to uh, leave that at replace and then on my middle mouse button i'm going to go here to set slope target so if i go set slope target and i take my little obviously you need to be in terrain sculpt mode uh, so we're going to wait a, a while again for it to to come right all right there you go so i'm gonna i'm going to with my middle mouse button now set a slope target up there and it'll make a pink little uh, marker there that is your target height of 100 all right so that is your target height and then i'm going to go back here to um instead of replace on my right mouse button i'm going to go to slope there so what is going to happen now if i use my right mouse button now to slope from 
the moment I click here, it's going to start sloping. Right click. So, and now it will create a slope all the way up to my target position, which is there. And you, if it's a high thing, you need to come and uh, work it up and down a little bit just to sort of uh, let, the, let the computer and all the things work together, you know. So I just do it like that. And I think this time around it will be all right. Now, needless to say, if you now, um, let me just um, zoom this out a little bit like that. Needless to say, if you now have a bigger circle, it will create a bigger slope for you. Uh, and you can go square as well on that. So it doesn't really matter, square or round. So it doesn't really matter on that. But if I now, if I now want to go slope from there, you'll see, like I say, it because of the height it if you move slow like I'm doing now just go slower it might catch up you know with the height but that is the one way to slope all right so I'm going to go control Z on all of these attempts oh not that much I want my mountain back so let's just redo the mountain all right so that's the one way to slope and you will need to um, obviously move your target if if you click once the target will disappear and if you click middle mouse button again the target will appear so you can move your target around and then slope up move it a little bit slope up move it a little bit slope up to get like a mountain slope so it's a time consuming process to slope like that all right now the next way to do it um, this is uh, an easier a faster way of doing what I'm doing here. So I know my mountain is 100. So let's go to 90, just to give you an idea. And I normally step in fives, uh, 95. I know this is this is also a bit of a, a process. And then the right mouse button, I'm going to put to replace. So I use my replace tool in this mode to to come next to that mountain, like that. And now I'm going to go to 90. So I just hit 90 and enter. And I'm going to just sort of come. It's This one works like those little rings you get on the maps, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of the contours. So hit 85. And I just pull them slowly like that. 75. Now, in my opinion, this you can do. A wide mountain if you far out you know you can do a wide mountain quick and easy this way you know so you'll just contour it all the way down slowly but surely I'm actually not doing it very uh, very good at the moment but you get what I'm doing is I'm stepping it down five meters five meters five meters until I get down here at two uh, to 50 meters then I'll, I will have a slope which is fairly cool or close let me go uh, on the size 100 and then I use my middle mouse button just to smooth it out you know sorry my middle mouse button is now at that so once you smooth this mountain out you will have a nice constant slope going up you know so easy and simple way to slope something that way uh, fast if you want to have a slope fast you know side of a mountain I actually have a bit of a flu guys so sorry for the sniffing here and there <laughs> okay control Z just to get back at uh, at my um, movements there you go and now the last way um, which you can try is to to use the, um, the spline this terrain spline mode so what we're going to do here is create a spline for us. Uh, there you go. And then you select the spline, hit the right mouse button. Uh, not the right mouse, the right arrow key, control B. I must probably just go out of this mode because otherwise, otherwise it, it will not work so nice. Am I still in this mode? My word. It's terrible how slow this is, guys. There you go. Okay, select spline, right arrow on the keyboard. It will take you to the first um, 
I think to start, control B, to pr place it down. So we're going to start where you want the start of the slope. Um, right arrow once again, delete twice. It will give you the, the end point, control B. So I'm going to go to the where, where I want end. Now, I'm holding my left mouse button. I'm not letting it go. And then I'm going to hit the insert key on the top of the hill. I'm going to come down to the bottom of the hill. I'm going to move across like that, up and down. So every time I want, I'm at, at the top or the bottom, I hit the insert key. All right. So that basically what I'm doing now is creating multiple up and down points on this um, on this uh, uh, spline of mine. And you can do multiple of these much, much closer to one another. I'm just using this as an example, just to show you. And then lastly, I'm going to put this one down. Mind you, let me just do one more here. And then that one there next to the S like that and what we're going to do now is go into scripts uh, at terrain um, scripts shared scripts map terrain and then set terrain height, height by spline now this is something um, you have to play around with the width setting can only go up to 10 if I remember correctly yes and that is the width, it's 10 meters. So it's not very wide, guys. And then the smoothing distance, um, this is on the edges of that 10 meters. And that is, it's not a distance as say, I think it's more a percentage, uh, how much it must smooth the edges of that 10 meters. Say you cut into a, um, a terrain and it's going to either have a cliff or it's going to go smooth out, you know, so that is your percentage that it does smoothing on the edges. So I'm normally just leave it at 20. And um, with this in edit uh, 10, it is incredibly slow. So you have to take much patience. The moment you click that little generate, uh, you're going to wait. Sometimes I've waited like 10 minutes uh, for this thing to make up its mind and finally generate my slope or my thing, uh, a road. Even just one short little spline on a, making a road. I don't know what they've done with this tool. They have messed it up from edit to nine which took like two seconds to, to do your slope for you or your, your, your terrain height by spline. Now, it is like you can see, um, I don't think I'm going to be jaw flapping all the time uh, while this thing is making up its mind because it could take 10 minutes, you know. So, so that's the, um, the three ways of creating a slope for you on in Giants Editor 10. But this one, they have totally messed it up. It does it in editor nine. It it did not used to take this long. It was like immediate, like two seconds. It it done your slope, you know, or your uh, height by spline. But now, as you can see, it is something incredibly um, time consuming, and you wait and you wait and you wait, and you think your machine is hanging or what something has gone wrong. Just leave it alone and come back. Go have some coffee. Come back. See if it's done. If it's not done, have another cup of coffee. If it's still not done, go sleep a while and then come back and then maybe it will be finished. You know, that type of thing. So be patient with this option. Um, it's the one I will suggest not to use. <laughs> For some reason, it doesn't work that well. It used to work very well. I used to work, use this a lot. But anyway, um, well, there you go, guys. After like your third cup of coffee, hour of sleep and whatever, you come back and you have a slope. <laughs> so basically, um, it's a nice option to do it this way because um, now you can just go and smooth it out as normal, you know, just take your smoothing tool and um, once that is woken up, you can um, just smooth, obviously, the terrain and you'll have a nice slope, um, obviously, for your mountain. You know, that type of thing. Good. That is the three ways, guys, of generating slopes on 
in Giants Editor 10, and I hope it uh, sheds some light for some of you guys that do uh, want to learn the basic stuff. Um, but yeah, enjoy that, man. And thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys, man. Have a fantastic week. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.